At a distance of 50 million light years away from Earth, the Virgo cluster is one of the closest galaxy clusters to our own local galaxy group. The Virgo cluster is dominated by the elliptical galaxy M87, which has a mass of around 2.4 trillion suns. It also has an actively feeding supermassive black hole at its center. Zooming into M87, the relativistic jets originating from the actively feeding supermassive black hole become apparent. Zooming further in reveals the supermassive black hole in all its glory. We Earthlings managed to snap a picture of this monster feeding at the heart of M87 with a worldwide network of radio telescopes known as the Event Horizon Telescope back in 2019. Prominent members of the cluster also include M84 and M86. Like M87, M84 also has an actively feeding supermassive black hole at its center, generating relativistic jets. It is not visible in the visible light, but as soon as you switch to radio, the relativistic jets arising from the black hole become apparent. X-ray light reveals the hot gas that is swirling around the black hole and in the plane of the galaxy. M86 can be classified either as an elliptical or a lenticular galaxy. This galaxy has around 3800 globular clusters that can be seen as points of light comprising of hundreds of thousands of stars. At the center of the image is a pair of interacting galaxies, NGC 4438 and NGC 4435. NGC 4438 has an actively feeding supermassive black hole at its center. It is a common occurrence in galaxies that are undergoing merger, where due to the merger, the gas and dust that was otherwise in a stable orbit around the center of the galaxy suddenly finds itself being tossed into the center of the galaxy. The Virgo cluster comprises of well over 1000 galaxies, each having hundreds of billions of stars. I wouldn't be wrong in saying that there are more galaxies than stars in this image and this is one of the closest galaxy clusters that we are talking about. Imagine how vast and populous the universe really is. Looking at this, I get a strong feeling that we aren't the only intelligent life out there in the vastness of the cosmos. But the distance between stars and galaxies is so vast that even at the speed of light it takes thousands of years to travel within a galaxy. and millions to billions of years to travel between galaxies and galaxy clusters in order to make one's presence known the most important thing that an intelligent species has to crack would be traveling across the universe faster than the speed of light the speed of light may seem tremendous 1 billion kilometers per hour but even at this speed light takes 5 and a half hours to travel from the sun to the dwarf planet pluto and we haven't even left our own solar system light takes about 100000 years to travel from one end of our galaxy to the other so you see how slow light is on the scale of galaxies and galaxy clusters physics doesn't allow anything that has mass to travel faster than the speed of light however physics lets space itself expand faster than the speed of light So in order to travel at superluminal speeds we might have to manipulate the space time around us or figure out a way to tunnel through the universe